Hello friends, welcome back to another exciting video on Terraform for Beginners Part 3. If you are new to my YouTube channel, kindly do take some time to watch my playlist where I have shared my learning journey on cloud certifications at associate level of AWS, Google and Azure. I have also shared my journey of how I have cleared my certification in Jenkins, which is Certified Jenkins Engineer and a series on Jenkins where I have shared how to install Jenkins, how to create your user roles, the projects, how to install Maven on Jenkins and a couple of other things. Also, I have created the series on Git and Ansible. If you feel that I have added a value to your learning journey, please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and share my YouTube channel with your friends and team members. So let's move back to today's video. Before we take a deep drive of learning Terraform init, Terraform plan, Terraform validate, Terraform destroy, Terraform workspace, and a couple of other things related to Terraform associate certification, let's first understand how to install a Terraform on AWS EC2 instance, which I'm going to use in my Terraform series. You can also install the Terraform on your local machine, be it Windows, Linux, Mac OS, Solaris, and etc. But in today's video, we are going to learn of how to install the Terraform on AWS EC2 instance. And before we start with that, we need to understand some fundamentals of Terraform module structure as what module, what is the module in Terraform? What types of modules we have in Terraform? So without any delay, let's get started. So friends, let's together learn the module structure of Terraform. So what is module in Terraform? That's the basic understanding we need to understand before we take a deep drive. So Terraform module is like functions or methods in scripting, be it up, Unix shell scripting, Perl scripting, Python scripting, etc. or any other programming languages. With with a basic idea for creating resources by providing inputs and retaining the outputs. The modules can be easily shared and sourced into any Terraform project. So what are these module structures, right? So the module structure contains Terraform files like main.tf, which is Terraform file.tf. So like Ansible, we, uh, where we have an extension of .yml, which is YAML file, the Terraform ha files have this um, extension .tf, which is Terraform file, output.tf provider.tf, variable.tf, and the terraform tfwas.json. Uh, so let's begin with the first module here, and that is provider.tf. So what is provider.tf? So terraform relies on the plugins called providers to interact with the cloud providers like Azure, AWS, Cloud, and other APIs. In Below Smith, we are using AWS as a cloud as a cloud provider and asking Terraform to connect with AWS. And this is how you define the provider in provider.tf. So here the provider is AWS region. You can mention US, Mumbai, wherever you are, an access key and a secret key. Moving to the second module, which is an main.tf. And this is an entry point 
point of your own pair of module. So what this module contains, this file contains the resource configuration. This module is to define these resources which you will be using throughout your Terraform code. On the right side, you can see a sample where I have defined a resource called as AWS underscore instance, and it is EC2 instance where I am defining what is my AMI instance type, a public IP address, subnet ID, VPC security groups, disable API termination, tax. You might be seeing war, um, war dot in image ID. So war is nothing but a variable which we will be looking in next couple of minutes. I hope you got an example of how to define the main dot TF. Now, Let's look at variables.tf. Remember, I was mentioning that you can use variable as per your, as what you define in your scripting, and it can be used across any of your Terraform project. So we use this file to mention all the input variables, which can be parad parameterized in the main dot file which we have looked one minute back and this is what how you define your variable dot tf file so you have a variable called as image id what type of it is whether it's a string whether it's an integer whether it's a boolean that's what you need to define and you can write a description for your understanding we have a variable called as instance type we have a variable called as a subnet id we have tags and then we have a variable called as vpc security group id now let's move to the next important thing which is an output dot tf so what we define in this file in this file we generate the output for the resource to refer in the module we we have generated the output for security group as and as can be seen below, which is on your right hand side, where I am defining a output where output called as VPC security group ID. And I am basically displaying that what is that group ID from the module, remember, which we have defined in main.tf. So now let's move to an in important file where we define where we define actual variable value and which is nothing but your terraform.tfwas.json this is important file where we pass values to the variable remember we have defined the variables in variables.tf and we have used that variables in main.tf now this is the file where we are actually passing the values or defining the values for those variables which we have used. It's like in shell scripting, you have a configuration file where you have defined the variables. Say if I have an environment called prod um, and SIT and UAT, I have a variable like prod underscore ENV, UAT underscore ENV, SIT underscore ENV. And now I want to use these variables in my main code. And that's where I define as an export UAT underscore ENV, UAT um, um, SID underscore e ENV so that I can use that configuration file, all those variables throughout my unix code and this is what it is defining in module means so if you see the example of this you have an image id instance type subnet id remember these are the variables security group name vpc id and you have a lot of other things which you can define in your variables.tft and pass those values in terraform.tfwas.js this is not this file is totally driven as per your requirement and the configuration which you want to make it reusable anywhere in your terraform code so make sure you understand the basics 
are the fundamentals of Terraform before we take into the depth drive. I hope this um, video helped you to understand the modules of Terraform uh, and how they can be used while writing a Terraform um, code for um, installing your server, uh, installing your instance on AW, uh, AWS EC2, which can be a Linux, Ubuntu, or if you want to uh, provision any of the infrastructure, right? So I hope it helped you to give you a basic idea of how the model structure of Terraform looks. Now let's move to our demo session of how to install Terraform on AWS EC2 instance without any delay. So friends, this is my AWS console. If you haven't seen my video on how to create an AWS an account, kindly do watch my playlist where I have given a detailed steps of how to create your first AWS account. So right now we are on AWS console and we are going to search here. There are two ways. One, either you can click on services and then you can go on EC2 or you can also search here EC2 and it will take you to the EC2 service. So let's click on EC2. So if you see right now, I have nothing running on my EC2 dashboard, which is zero, no load balancers. I have a couple of security groups, the key pairs, and a couple of other things which you see on the EC2 dashboard. There are, there are easy ways to start your first EC2 console. Either you can directly click here on EC2, um, on the launch instance, which I will be doing in next one minute. And it takes me to the page where I need to specify the EC2 name, what I, what uh, security group I need to use, what kind of machine I'm going to use. So let's just give it as demo in a form. Okay, and I'm going to use Amazon Linux. Okay, and it's a free tier eligible. So there are a lot of things which you see as a free tier eligible. <coughs> this one is a very basic one, 64, uh, 64 bit. Then you have Amazon Linux with .NET, PowerShell, uh, and then you have another one with the ssd volume type uh, but we are going to just use a basic one which is 6486 okay now let's go down and here you can select the instance type so the free eligible instance type here is tc uh, tc2 micro but you have a way, uh, other instance type like g1 c1 which is compute um, and couple of other um, instance types you have but as of now for our demo session it's best to use the t2 micro which is a free tier eligible now let's select the key pair which i already have it i would just use the last time which i created for for my Jenkins, so I'm just going to use that. And then I, I already have a security group. You can create your own security group if it never existed. But since I already have the existing security group where I have open a port for SSH for HTTP, I'm going to just use that. So I have a couple of a uh, couple of uh, ports, but let me just use the first one. Okay, and then you have the storage configuration, whether you need 8 gig, 12 gig, and a couple of other things um, depend, but we just use a basic configuration. Then 
if you see, we have put all the information here. I need only one instance as of now. So that's it. And if you want an advanced thing, you can fill up here uh, spot instances, IAM instance profile, uh, auto recovery, shutdown behavior, and a couple of other things. Let's not get into this, but let's just focus on creating our first basic EC2 instance. So I click here, launch instance. It will just take a moment, but it's getting launched. So if you see, you get a message here, successfully initiated the instance. Let's just go back to our EC2 management console, where we will see this instance coming up. So if you see the instance stays is pending. Let's just wait it to come up as the <laughs> running thing. It's just doing certain checks. So if you want, you can refresh here. And if you see now our instance is in the running mode. And the, the best part is once it comes into the running mode, you will see what is instance ID what is the public IP address, what is the host name, Auto us. <clears throat> what is a VPC ID, what is the private <clears throat> DNS name, and also you will see the security group, remember, which I have selected, where I mentioned that I have opened the HS, uh, SSH connection, which is 22. I have opened the TCP connection, which is 8080. Couple of other things, I have opened the connections and which you will see here, that is an inbound thing, right? You will also see the networking details, storage, and the status checks. That means your instance is running or not, that's what it will give you the instant states. And then we have a basic monitoring, uh, how much is the CPU utilization and a couple of other things. Let's not get into that, but these are the basic things which once the EC2 instance comes up, it gets initialized. So now let's click on connect. And we get three or four options. One is EC2 instance connect, okay, which has the username EC2 dash user, which we know. Okay, then there is a session manager. We are interested in SSH. And then there is an EC2 serial uh, console. Say if you don't want to, um, for an example, you directly want to connect uh, using SSH, uh, not using SSH, but directly needs to be connect from the dashboard, you use EC2 instance connect. I can use that. So if I click on connect, the another page will get open and it will help me to, uh, and you will see that establishing the connection and it is now coming up. So if you see, I am already on, um, Amazon Linux uh, type, right, which I selected, right? So there are various ways, but this is the fastest way to get connected. But if you want, you can go with SSH also, right? So let's just type here ID. And if you see our username is EC2 host, um, EC2 dash user. And if you type host name, you will see the host name, which is matching here in our launch instance where we went, okay. So pretty simple, right? Moving to the, uh, moving to the, uh, to the other part, like you don't need to memorize anything like uh, what all commands I need to install the Terraform. All you need to go is go to the Terraform uh, page. I will give you the link of this and it has the uh, uh, the steps of how to install on Ubuntu, how to install on Saint OS, Fedora, and Amazon Linux, and we are going to use this. So let's just copy paste this. It's very simple. All I'm going to do is, but before that, let me create a directory called has Terraform demo. Okay. Oh, sorry, we didn't have the directory. So let's just create it mkbr terraform dash demo. And right now, if you do ls minus lrt, you will see the terraform demo. 
here. So let's go inside that. Oh, sorry. Let's clear your screen. Let's go into Terraform demo and let's execute the first step, which is sudo yum install yum utils. And if you see, it is getting started. And it is complete here. Now, the next step is we need to get the uh, Terraform from the Hershey Corp Linux repository. And we are going to just copy this and type here. There are various ways you can use vget uh, to get directly from the GitHub repository or kind of thing, but let's use this simple way. And adding the repo to this, it got, and now let's install our Terraform. And here we are with the installation of the Terraform and it will take care of all your necessary packages. If you see, we have RPM package for Git, the Perl, um, and the last package is 1.5.5 of Terraform. And if you see, it has installed all this, right? Let's just clear the screen and see what is installed. Nothing is here. Let's type Terraform and see what it gets. So we have got all these Terraform init, validate plan, and these are the commands. Let's check what is the version of Terraform. So if I do which Terraform, okay, it will tell me where it has installed the Terraform, or you can use the locate command also. And uh, I guess the locate command is not here, but the Terraform is installed in user bin Terraform, which is a default directory. Let's just uh, clear the screen, cd user bin Terra user bin and let's see here and if you see we see here a directory call has terraform or it's a it's not a directory but it's an executable file or kind of thing let's uh, i guess it's not an it's it's an executable file or a binary file so let's just execute this and you see that it gives you all the commands. Let's check the version and the help one. Okay, so let's let me clear the screen and do Terraform this this version. And if you see, we have installed Terraform one point. 5.5 that is our version if you want any help like um in unix we have a man command uh, which gives you the uh, help information if you want to know how that command is being used so here in terraform we have the help page which we call as terraform help and if i want to know in it Okay, it will give me what is that in it and what options I have. So it says initialize new or existing Terraform working directory by creating the initial files and loading any remote state on downloading the modules. Say for example, I want to know uh, the options available for the plan command. Okay, so I'll just type plan and it will give me the details. And if you see here, generates the execution plan showing the actions of Terraform and a couple of other what options it has, right? So that's it. So let's go back to our directory, which is Terraform demo. And let's just type here user bin Terraform in it. And if you see, it has, it doesn't has any configuration file right now. It's empty, but 
but don't worry when we go into our uh, main session where we will be creating main.tf where we will be specifying what kind of provider I want to make a connection and couple of other things at that time we will be initializing it like remember when we want to start our git using we use git in it the same thing command we need to use for the terraform in order to initialize it I hope you got an sense of how to install the Terraform on AWS EC2 instance and it's pretty simple. I'm going to give the link of HashiCorp in my video description. You can just copy paste that commands and get your Terraform installed on AWS EC2 instance. If you have liked this video, kindly do share this with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Your subscription and your comments really motivate me to come up with such exciting videos and help me to um, upgrade myself by learning day and day with the new technology. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.